Hey everyone, welcome to my channel Steady Junction and in this video we are going to focus on class 8 social science chapter industries. Now this chapter is very very vast and it's hard to learn all the things which are present in this chapter especially the states in which the industries are found. So I am going to simplify this chapter. I am going to refine some important questions from this chapter and uh, Let's start with uh, the discussion of the important questions from this chapter. First of all, uh, the thing, uh, with things which are written over here are not very much important. So first of all, the thing uh, you should be aware of should be in, uh, industrial disaster. You should know what is industrial disaster because in your exams you can be asked what is industrial uh, disaster explain and what are the prevention measures uh, for the industries so uh, these points can come in uh, the answer then uh, we have what do you mean by emerging industries so all the things which are mentioned in the boxes in the glossary uh, boxes and those special boxes are very very important so don't skip those things i think this is uh, one of the uh, in one of the information which is present in the box then we have defined smelting so uh, this can come in one mark so you should know what exactly smelting is now there is this question name a uh, feeder industry so this is very simple that you should know uh, uh, a feeder industry when uh, this chapter is basically explained you are always told uh, about the basic terms so uh, this is nothing but a uh, feeder, feeder industry now the question is name some important steel producing center so uh, it's not important to learn all these centers but you should uh, remember two to three centers uh, these ones are easy so you can remember these ones but it's important to know about the important uh, know about the steel producing centers then is this important question eighth question name one iron and steel plant in india before 1947 so it is disco tata iron and steel company limited so it's very very important you can also be asked a note on disco so i would discuss it later on in the uh, video now uh, the question is why jamshedpur is best for setting industries so uh, it's very important question i have mentioned the points over here so you can uh, it's uh, that you have to uh, write the points only you would not get marks of j uh, writing just points in the exam you have to explain uh, these points so uh, these uh, can be framed in sentences so that would be easy for you all then is what are the names of great lakes so this is the information which is present in the box so you should remember it the next important question is on uh, what are primary, secondary and tertiary activities. So you should know their definition as well as their examples. Especially examples is very important. Examples are very important because in one mark you are generally asked name one tertiary activity. So uh, or secondary or primary activity. So you should be knowing about these uh, activities. Moving on to the next thing, uh, this is the example of some industries. So, uh, this basically uh, are the uh, things, are the categories under which iron and steel industry, coal mining industry, tourism industry uh, uh, are categorized. So, you should be knowing about these categories. Then is defined cottage industry. You, sh you can be asked a note on cottage industry, private sector, public sector industries and uh, you should uh, definitely know these because four marks questions are very common for this uh, particular type. Now, the next question, describe the distribution of major industries. Now, uh, this uh, these kind of questions create a problem for us as we uh, don't remember uh, the countries or the states. So, basically, the thing uh, you need to remember is information technology, IT, uh, Silicon Valley and uh, the Bangalore side. So, uh, it's important. Otherwise, these are just for uh, reading, not very, very much important. Now, this is a full-fledged note on Tisco. So, 
uh, the points are mentioned over here you can frame them easily these points points are all uh, similar you have uh, done uh, these in the question previously mentioned about jamshedpur so the questions will remain the same but the main thing is water supply now the in the book the different rivers are mentioned that this river provides water and this river provides water so that's important very important i must say because that uh, can be asked in one mark too like which river supplies water to this industry or that industry so you must remember the name of the rivers and the uh, region they cover uh, in providing the water so uh, that Uh, thing for one mark i have told you so other points will remain same now this is a note on pittsburgh so the points will again remain the same now in the pittsburgh uh, part 2 you have to focus on the water supply the rivers from which uh, the water is provided so be carefully uh, be careful while writing those now uh, a very general question gives uh, raw give uh, raw materials for textile industry so natural fibers artificial fibers you must be knowing uh, this you already study in uh, science from so many years so i think everybody should know this information now next is name the important producers of cotton textile uh, industries so this is important the uh, you must know this generally the countries but in india part it it is very important to uh, revise these muslins of dhaka and uh, the other things you must remember two to three places where uh, these uh, cotton textile industries are found in india so it's important now guys very very important questions for one marks 20th and 21st don't mix them uh, study carefully where was the first successful mechanized textile mill established and this is when wo where was the uh, first textile mill in country established so the difference is uh, very much so you should remember the dates as well and the places as well so it's very important it can definitely be asked in one mark so focus on this question in both these questions don't mix up next question four mark question why ahmedabad is known as manchester of india so this is the whole answer now the next question is describe osaka this question can actually be framed as why osaka is known as manchester of japan so you should know all these points and again water plays an important role you should remember the river so yeah this is uh, important and port city it's a port city you should also remember this so uh, another thing which has to be uh, mentioned which has to be taken care is uh, to remember the point uh, from where cotton is imported because sometimes in 1 to 2 marks it's generally asked uh, like this uh, point is usually asked you take care and also in this uh, ahmedabad you should uh, also read the points carefully now finally moving towards the last part describe bengaluru the silicon plateau so very very important and uh, the note on california that silicon valley can also come so uh, it's a question in ncert as well so prepare that question really well it's important then is why do high technology industries group together so it's important for 3 marks or 4 marks so prepare these points really well it's generally asked in the exam so uh, these were all the important questions in this chapter and i hope that uh, you are clear with all the points in the chapter and if you still face any doubts then do tell me in the comment section below and subscribe to my channel and i would see you all in the next video bye